Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to use data validation to create a drop down menu where the source data for the drop down menu is located on a separate tab. Now if you'd like to get this workbook you can go to teachexcel.com and download it from there. So what I showed you in the first data validation tutorial was how to make simple parts list drop down menu from this cell right here. I colored the cell because you can't tell that it is a drop down menu when you deselect the cell that is a drop down menu. Anyway, and I use sample data from this tab right here, just to keep it simple. The reason for that is because it's not as simple to select source data from a separate tab. So over here, zoom in, I have the same data just on a separate tab. That way we can delete all of this and have a cleaner layout or create a sample form or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get started. Now if you need a uh, sort of more of a walkthrough of creating a drop down menu, you should check out the Data Validation 1 tutorial for creating drop down menus. However here, the only other things we're going to need, besides the data validation, is the name manager shortcut and paste name shortcut. Now these shortcuts are really only in case you have forgotten where or what the uh, named range is that you've created, but I'll get into that right now. So let's go ahead and begin. I want to create a drop down menu. I want to put it in this cell right here. My source data is right here. Now what you have to do to make this work is you have to name your source data. You have to create a named range. So what you have to do is select the source data, then go up to this box right here, the name box, click in there, and then simply type whatever you want to name this range. I'm going to call it parts. When you're done, hit enter. And you'll know that it has been named when parts is centered. If it's not centered and you click away, it's not a named range. Also, when I click away, all I have to do is go to the name box and click the drop down arrow. And then I can see that my named range parts is right there. When I select that, it highlights the data right here. Now in reality, you probably are going to want to make this named range a dynamic named range, but that's covered in a different tutorial. However, if these parts numbers or parts data, if they're not going to change very often, you can just make it a simple named range just like this. So I highlighted the data, clicked in the name box, gave it a name, hit enter. Now what you need to do, go back to sheet one or the original sheet, and let's go ahead and put our data validation dropdown menu right here. Now the first thing is let's remember that we called this parts because we need to enter that soon. So I'll highlight the cell for the drop down menu and hit Alt D L to get the drop down menu data validation window. Go to the settings tab under allow, click the drop down menu and select list. Make sure in cell drop down is selected. Go into source and then type equals parts. So equals and then type the name of the named range that you just created. Then click OK. And let's see if it works. So we got the drop down arrow. We know there's a drop down menu here. Click it and check it out. Now we have a nice easy to use drop down menu that references a separate tab. So we don't have to have a list of parts right here. So that's really all there is to it. Now, if you want to remove the drop down menu, simply highlight the cell of the drop down menu, hit Alt DL, or go back to the data validation window. Underneath where it says allow, click the drop down menu and select any value. When you do this, delete this text, you'll notice there's no more drop down menu. So that's how you can add and remove the drop down menu. Now, uh, two shortcuts I did not use, but I have here, so are the name manager and paste name. Now the name manager simply allows you to add a name through this window right here. You can see the name that we just created. So if you want to add a name, simply click the new button and you could add a name this way. Also, if you forget what you named your named ranges, simply hit F3 and it's gonna pop up a box with a list of all of the named ranges in the workbook. So that's really all there is to it um, for creating a drop down menu where your source data is on a separate tab in Excel. If you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there.